Hey everybody and welcome to the Daily Scotch, 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 Scotch for the 20th of August. So the sun makes a queen quartz to Neptune today, the moon also enters its crescent moon phase and the moon also goes into void of course so if you want to know more about that check out the playlist. So um, on the positive side the sun queen quartz Neptune encourages us to use our intuition more, be more imaginative, also can allow us to be more creative and tap into our subconscious mind. By embracing this energy we can have profound spiritual experiences and also it's good to use for that good old personal growth that we need to be doing lifelong. On the negative end, you know, Neptune always brings illusion. It can cause confusion and the tendency to deceive ourselves and also engage in, you know, over doing drugs, alcohol and other intoxicating substances and we're also more open to the manipulation of others as well so it's important to maintain a clear perspective as you can and exercise you know caution when making important decisions and believing what other people say. On the social level, it allows us to have a more sense of empathy and compassion towards people and we may support each other emotionally and spiritually and psychologically more and this can have deep in connection in relationships, communities and families. In terms of career, it allows for us to be more creative, coming up with great solutions, especially if obstacles come our way today or over the next couple of days, um, this um, aspect is active <laughs> yeah so it's a favorable time for artists writers and those involved in creative industries to harness their imaginative powers and produce exceptional work so some of you can do your masterpiece or continue your masterpiece in terms of relationships we can meet our partners um, needs and desires more as it encourages us to have more sensitivity and this can allow for more intimate and compassionate interactions and conversations and stuff like that the best use of this aspect of the sun making the queen quartz to neptune is to you know use it to delve into the realm of imagination engage in writing painting and meditation as well as exploring our subconscious mind to gain deeper insights into ourselves as well but remember it's important to remain grounded as i said because neptune can cause us to be judgmental or cloud our judgment as well be overly unrealistic in our expectations as well balance between imagination intuition and practicality rationality is needed and make sure you weigh up the consequences of all actions you take today especially you know because neptune can make us you know deluded and make us lack critical thinking making us uh, make bad decisions as well so you know if you can't think straight right now try and seek out how of someone who is grounded as well Content creators can use this energy to talk about spirituality, creativity, the subconscious mind, how we can reprogram it, because often the subconscious mind is where our automatic thoughts and reactions are if our subconscious mind is set up to, you know, turn to addictive substances every time we feel threatened or fearful and stuff like that it can negatively impact all areas of our lives so talking about how we can heal ourselves on the psychological spiritual and emotional levels as well as how to explore the psychic realms and the best practices of when to explore you know tarot and that and in terms of you know direct contact with spiritual uh, round through meditations and other techniques as well talking about the dangers of that the importance of staying grounded how you can stay grounded and how you can increase intuition and sensitivity as well so yeah that was the daily scope 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 for the 20th of august <laughs>